if you are an intermediate javascript developer in terms of expertise and knowledge about the programming language and ever had a confusion about the value of this then you have to watch this video if you go to the developer tool and type this you will get something called window and you see tons of stuff inside it so if you type the word window you get the similar one and you can check both are same thing this is equals to window is true create a variable bar my bar is equals to something called nice day and you will have access to my bar anywhere and you can check and this value also had my bar and same as the window has my bar as well and the way you can create an object in javascript you just put it in curly braces and you can add some property here for example you can have some name property you can give it a name like penny and you can access the name by a dot name you get the penny if you want to add some property to this and you want to get the context of this object you can create a property called context and set it to the value of this and if you type a dot context you will get the window you can check whether this is the same window we are talking about yes exactly it is the same window if you are sick of the global scope you can create a different scope by creating a function and give it a name and you can do something you want to do inside the function and to invoke the function or execute the function you call it this way one important thing about this function in javascript is just like an object so similar to object function could have properties you can set like true expertise for this function and give it a name that you are only a beginner and you can access these properties here the reason i am saying it that at the time of invocation or execution when you call the foo function the javascript engine inserted the properties this and and you can access the value of this the type of this is an object that means any properties inside this object you can access it but the value of this is available only at the time of execution and it depends on how the function is called i am saying it again it depends on how the function is called if you want to get the value of this at this point of time you will get undefined you will get nothing now if you want to see the context of a function and we create a function what is this and inside this function what we will return we will return this that means if we call what is this and it will give us the context of this function and we get the window and if we do this function in a different way like in a self executing function and we will call this function and inside this function we will have return this and this will immediately execute it and we will get window that means anything any function called within the context of the global scope the value of this is the window if we change little bit and introduce the strict mode of ECMAScript 5 this is little different if we just type use a strict here and we call this function we will get undefined so point to be remembered here is in the strict mode whatever in the global scope becomes undefined now if you want to fix it and want to use the window inside the self invocating function you have to pass the window object so the way of passing in this and we'll give it a name like usually we get like self and we will return self this is only one way of solving this problem there are other way now if we go back and look into the object we created before uh, we gave it a name is called penny so we create that object and we create a method here and name of the method is get context and what this method will do it will just return us the value of this so it will return this as simple as that and we execute it now if we call a dot get context we get the object that means the method here the function is called in the context of a and that's why the value of this is bound to the object itself 
if we do create another object say for example what d is equals to new object and i give it a name and it could be anything d d d and i set to another method say like get context in one which is exactly the same value of a dot get context that means the value of d dot context is function return this now if i invoke this function get context then i get the object on d this means when i call the get context on the object d the value of this is the object d when i call the same thing on object a then the value of this is object a now if we do little different thing for example if we create a variable foo and the foo value is like a dot get context that means foo is nothing but a function that return this if you call this function foo then what do we get the context is the window this is very important to be clear we are calling this function in the context of global scope that's why value of this is window because when we call this function this way this is exactly same way if we call a function foo and we do like return this this is exactly the same thing so point to be noted is that the value of this depends on how function is called if we do a recap say if we do like a dot get context the function is called in the context of a we get the value of this the object a if we do like d dot get context we get the value of this is the context of d but if you just get out of the function and turn it in the global scope we get the window object if you want to create some object by using constructor in class so we use the function and we have a function called friend we will pass some parameter or uh, since we are developer our friend are little different so we ask the area they work and which would be in javascript server side client side designer and these dot favorite language and uh, whatever the favorite language they have and we will pass to this parameter this area and favorite language and since we are interested we want to see this dot context which would be the value of this this is all we need to do and if we create bar friend one and we will create a new friend and this friend is a very nice dude so he works on the client side and his favorite language as you can guess is javascript so this happened and we will see like say friend one dot uh, context you will see the context is the friend that means when we are using constructor by using the new keyword the context of the function becomes the newly created object and if we do like friend 2 by changing it's a friend 2 and he is not very nice he works in the server side and his favorite language is java so friend 2 and if you see like friend 2 and the context of this friend 2 is the server side guy he works on this so the difference here to be noted is that if we call this function without the new keyword it will get the global context and if we use the new keyword to construct a new object the context of the function becomes the newly created object in case of inheritance by using prototype chain for example if you have an object called dad and dad has only one property that is father's name and the name of your dad is the dad now if you want to create a child who is inherited from dad one of the ways of creating is object dot create and you will pass dad and if you do this then child will get the property of the dad that's fine but how this is related to this for example if you create a method on child say for example you do like child dot who is your dad and it's a function and what this function do it just return this dot father name that's it so if you do like child dot who is your dad and call this method you get the big dad this means in case of inheritance the value of these have access to all the properties that child have as well as all the objects it is inherited from in this case of the properties of dad and it's a grandfather blah 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 
JavaScript allows you a different way of assigning these to a function. For example, if we have like a very basic function, get menu, and all it does, it will return you the value of this. And if you remember from very first of this video, you'll see if we call this function, you will get the global context here. But if you want to run this function to another context, more specifically, the customized one, the object we pass, that's very simple. First, we think we have like a very basic object like dev menu, the things a developer eat, and menu is always picture. And if it is early morning, get some cappy caffeine. That's it. And if you want to run this get menu object in the context of this dev menu, we just have to create a for dev and that would be get menu and we will bind this get menu in the context of dev menu. If we do this, now if we call like for dev and what you will get, you will get the value of this return from this function would be object menu picture. If you want to run, run this one in a different object, we can easily do it. Say for example, we have like another menu. This is HR menu and all the things that new hire in the HR de department it is salad to maintain our health. So if we want to have bar for HR and you can do like get menu and you can bind this one with like HR menu. Now, if you call like for HR and you will get the object. So the function is, is bound to the salad menu for the HR person. And if you do like for Dave, you always get the pizza. That's the poorest guy in the world. So besides doing the get menu, there is like two other options you can do. If you do the first parameter in the call function or you the first parameter in the apply function, you can do it. Some built-in array functionalities allows an optional parameter or uh, these arguments to be passed. One is like for each, you can do like sum, you can do the filter, you can do like every and map. If you can recall a method in an object, for example, you had like get context one and it was returning the value of this. So return this. And when we call a dot get context, we are getting value of this in the context of the object. But if we have something different here, and that is set timeout. Set timeout is very special and we pass 10 milliseconds, it will be executed and a callback function. And the callback function, what will we do? We just console log the value of this. Now, if we call a dot get context, we can't expect the value of the object itself because the context or the value of this is the window. Set timeout is a very special case because the JavaScript executor needs to execute all the execution in the queue and then it will execute the function in the set timeout. That's why the context of set timeout is the window or the global object. Now, if you can see, I have a button called my button and we will see that what is the value of this in case you do some event handling in the DOM. So for this, we will go to the document and get element by ID and the ID of my button is my button. And I want to add an event listener to this and this would be on click. And what I want to do, I want to send a callback function to this and the callback function will do console.log the value of this. I'm done. Now, if I click on my button, I don't get any global scope or anything like this. I get the element that fired the event. So in case of DOM event handler, the value of this is the element that fired the event. Now a quick recap. When you run a function in the function context, the value of this would be the window or the global object. The second thing, if you run a self-executing function, the value of this will also be the global or window object. However, if you run it in the strict mode, then the value would be undefined. Number three, if you run a function in the object context, that is object dot a method, and the value of this would be the context of the object. So here it would be 
penny. Number four, if you use the function as a constructor by using the new keyword, then the context of the function would be the newly created object. Number five, in case of inheritance, the inherited object will have access to the properties it is inherited from. For example, you will get the father's name from the child. Number six, you can set the value of this by passing a parameter in the bind call or apply method. And in this case, it would be the menu pizza for developer guys. Number seven, for set timeout, always the context would be the global context. Number eight, for DOM event handler, the value of this would be the element that fired the event.